Okay, Harry, so Eddie, he signed you in the summer of 2010 and you were 20 years old then. How much would you say that you've changed as a player and a person since then? Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely changed a lot. You say, um, on and off the pitch, um, you know, going from being here now for, for four and a half years, coming up to five years, as I say, I feel I've developed into a, a better player and, and ultimately probably a better person. You scored on Eddie's first game back. Um, just tell us what it meant for you to have him back here at the club. Yeah, it was it was fantastic to to get um, the manager back. Um, at the time, we, we wasn't doing very well before before that. You know, he um, he come back in. We were you know in the relegation zone, 19th or 20th, I think we was, and um, the team that we played that day was Tranmere. Uh, they were top of the league that day and. It was obviously seen as a as a big game because it was Eddie's um, it was the manager's first game back. So we actually went one 0 down. Um, we managed to get one back, and then you know I scored the second goal, which for me personally was a, was a great feeling, and it was probably one of the best atmospheres that we had in a long while. And also that picture of you scoring is in a massive sort of frame in the stand. That's quite unusual, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, I think it was a nice touch by. Uh, whoever whoever decided that, I'm not too sure whose influence that was. Um, but as you say, it's nice to be it's nice to be highlighted around the ground. They obviously consider consider it as a, a landmark for the club, and it was a it was a landmark in the, in getting the manager back. And it was probably without doubt the best decision from whoever it was to to get the manager and uh, and Jason Tindall back here because it's only been success from then on. So they highlighted that picture as. Uh, as a change really for the club and yeah, it's nice to be seen. And obviously having Eddie back, you had him as a manager during his first spell here. Do you think he's changed much? Um, I don't know, it's a strange one really. I'd say he's changed in some aspects but not, not a great deal really. You know, he's um, he went to a bigger club obviously leaving us, he went to a bigger club and he come back with the same appetite, he, he, he hadn't changed in that. Obviously when he when he come back the, the goals he set for us was, was to get promoted and, and we achieved it so um, you know without doubt I, I, I've played for a few managers and he's without doubt at the top of that list of, of the best managers I've played for and I think he he's, he will move on eventually to, to bigger things, hopefully that will be with us at Bournemouth, we, he hopefully he can get us into the Premier League because without doubt I think that's what the level we should be managing at and as, as players that's the, that's the level we're striving for so um, hopefully we can do it as, as a group and all in one and, and get there but if, if for whatever reason we don't you know I think we can, everyone will, I'm sure everyone will expect to see him you know, manage at the highest level. Okay, you said a lot of good things there about Eddie. What does he do to get the best out of his players? Uh, I think honesty is one of his one of his biggest attributes. Um, you know, I think a lot of managers they they talk the talk, but they don't really back it up with with certain things they do. Um, you know, the manager is honest with you what what he feels you need to improve on, and um, he rewards you if he sees you working on it. You know, after training. Um, you know, if you used to video it, you'd see ten, 10 players outside when training finishes, working on the areas that the manager's told you to improve on. That's probably one of his best attributes at, at making lads wanting to be better, and he helps you at doing that. And to say that's why I feel we've been so, so successful recently. And um, what's the chemistry like between you and Eddie? I mean, do you think it's important that you have a manager that sort of understands you? Yeah, I'd say it is for me personally. Um, I think it's probably one of the manager's hardest jobs to, to understand these players. Um, you know, personalities, it's, not every player is the same. It's, it's obvious that players are going to be different and some managers, that's where managers have their downfall really. They don't really know how to handle certain personalities. And maybe in the past, the previous managers maybe haven't judged my personality right. And as I say, he's known me since I was a 20 year old boy. and. Um, I feel he's watched me grow up and he probably knows to hand, ha, how to handle me better than anyone else. And I feel relationships wise, I don't feel I could have a better one with a manager. So, you know, for me, it's a good relationship 